Welcome back to part three of the Middle Earth Shadow of War Gravewalker difficulty walkthrough. Uh, we're gonna work our way up to the Etten quest and then see how far we get. The last video was pretty long and it was a hell of a difficult process to um, render it and get it uploaded and everything like that. So I think I'm gonna keep these to about an hour each. Uh, even though, you know, I could make them longer, I, I think. I'll get them out faster if I'm doing it an hour each and then I can upload while I'm still playing. <clears throat> so we'll try that. Uh, let's get into it. When you forge the new ring, you woke the bell. It cannot be allowed to reach the surface. So as you can see from the quest prompt in the upper left there, uh, we've got to dominate captains to prepare for the assault. There's a little problem with that though. I am level 15. And there is only one captain that is below my level, at or below my level, so that I can uh, dominate him. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around uh, and beat up some of the other orcs, lower their level so that I can dominate them, and then uh, show the gameplay footage from that point, rather than me having to fight them repeatedly and you guys having to sit through that. So. Uh, I will come back to you shortly. Where's the animal who's been killing my savages? When I find him, he's going to wish he only had them to deal with. But okay. Leon, what do you think you do? My crog! My crog! I tear you to pieces and drain your blood! Aslan. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to do it. Chill. You are mine! You get shamed, everybody gets shamed. Okay, so as you can see, the outpost alarms have been disabled and I have captains that are now sufficiently shamed that they will do my bidding. Uh, let's
Let's go dominate some. Me, however, I am highly skilled in absorbing punishment. I'm dishing it out. Make that bloke your bodyguard. Anyone looking to carve his way across Mordor needs a guard or two. I mean, I don't. I mean, obviously. If it ever got to the point where I needed a hand on the battlefield, I'd, I'd cut my own throat. But you, you should have some added muscle. No shame in it. Tulkar. You will not see me again. I will cut you down and drag your battered corpse to the gates of Minas Tirith. Then all the people of Gondor will know shame. Hosh Grish. Is that, is that my palm print on your face? Yeah, I, I think it is, champion. Takla. I play! All these fuss of a little old you. Uh, let's just get this over with. <laughs> Blast holes through oh, you. Blast holes through world of men and fill them with orc machinery. Ah! No stopping power. No, all know you are here. for building myself back up. Here, I'll show you. I think I'm gonna make this guy my new bodyguard. Come on! They spit on me since you shamed me, but you know what? Do worse to you! Vlog. Not 
too much grog tonight. Need to be alert. See, lads? This is why you put sensories on the perimeter. to follow. And I'll tell you what's always a popular one. Murder. Command that new follower of yours to gut some bugger you don't like, and that'll free you up to gut somebody else at the same time. And remember to keep the target's weaknesses in mind. If he's terrified of fire, there's nothing funnier than sending someone to clobber him with a fire weapon. Oh, that's proper music, that is. Bastard. He'd make a top backstabber. What you want to do is to make him bodyguard to a war chief. So you can, well, stab him in the back. Of course, no war chief's gonna take on a bodyguard unless he's proved himself. And the place to do that is in the fight pits. How does surviving a few rounds make you trustworthy? No idea. But it's a bloody good laugh. And you'd be a drongo to trust an orc anyway, so it all works out. Go on, have a go. Take Grog stronger than them. They drink and die by morning. But that night, they are dragons. <laughs> I show you power of Grog. Aslan. <laughs>
of the Karagals, so they'll stay quiet. You not ready? Pet. I'd advise you not to get too attached. Ah! Oh, like a torch. Ah! Incredible strength in those arms. Such power and grace in those legs. And I pride myself on being able to spot those things. I'm a bit of a collector. to miss your own demise. I know your ways, outsider. You sent a spy to infiltrate our ranks. I will find him, and he will suffer. You'll be a boring fight. I always get the boring ones. Come on! What are you waiting for? <sighs> Hello! Line up, everyone! There's not enough human there for us all to torture. For the bright lord! Fun will have, will have. You've been lucky so far, and that luck is about to end. Come on, I'm ready for you. Oi, Blog! Come here, elf lover. Me and the boys want to show you some orcish kindness. <laughs> With a bright lord! ones, eh? Make it easy. Oh. Instead of shame, I felt pride. I embraced the mark and was reborn. Now I return to finish you. On your knees. Long. Swear loyalty to the great lord. I am with you. Oh, 
I'm just a trifle. Nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. You know that I am unashamed. I bear my marks with pride. Not even the Grave Walker himself could shame me. Promise me you'll struggle. It's no fun when they just keel over. Show me what you got. Are you an ugly one? I always have to fight the ugly ones. Come on. What are you waiting for? Scream! What have we got here? I think it's time for us to have a little fun. I said fight, Lord! This guy, I think I'm gonna keep him. I think it's time we met this two headed overlord. He won't be overlord for long. Okay, so as you can see, the enemy keep defenses are down and we are ready to do the Eton quest. So before we do that, we'll go in and assign our uh, assault force leaders. Uh, so you, we've got spots for three, I think, right now. Yeah, so our next slot will open up at 25. So we'll assign some people, do the upgrades, and then go to the Eton quest. As you can see, I have sappers, which will help me get through the um, enemy gate more quickly. There's no uh, reinforced gates for the keep at this point, so it should just blow right through the gate. Uh, the defender host, which lets you claim uh, the victory points more quickly. And then cursed siege beasts, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Uh, if there's captains up and you're you're doing the siege with captains still there that on the enemy side then you want to kind of like use the siege beast that'll target their weakness but you know whatever curse is fine Also, before we get into it, so for skills, you can see that I've followed the uh, uh, list that I've put on the video descriptions. Um, with one exception, it looks like I've got an extra skill point somehow, and I don't know where I picked that up. Um, but I've picked up all of the range skills at this point. All the way up to Shadow Strike and the Mounted Skills. 
all the way up to Cull Mound. So the next skill I'm going to get um, will be Shadow Strike Pull at level 21, and I'll probably get that in the process of doing the Karnan quests uh, while we go after our Dragon Mount. Okay, let's go do the item. Take out the Overlord, the Fort's yours. So, who do you fancy bringing along besides me? My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word. Language is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess, he said we're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the Defenders. Define focus. In Sieges and Gravewalker, uh, better to just let your army do most of the hard work. So I just jumped down to claim the points and last I'm feeling a little bit randy. Make a pie. Yeah, this lot has. Maybe I'll pick up a sword for myself. I could use a new toothpick. <laughs> pick your teeth later. Right now we need to take the fort. Ah, right oh, boss. I'll chew my way right through it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I fancy this fort capturing business. And once this one's yours, you'll need a new overlord. I'd like to throw my hat in that ring. What have I unleashed? His potential is nearly unlimited. Righto. Now I'll snuff the overlord for you. Killing the overlord will send a message throughout this region. That message comes from me. Righto. Yeah, Bruce isn't the type to take any prisoners. My kind of bloke. Up on. Where do I start? How about your death? What? You mean getting hit by the hammer? There's a headache at most. I mean, you want to kill a Nuruk, you gotta take the head clean off. Does the job every time. Well, most of the time, I think. I don't know. Never really been sure about that. Oh, I'm quite sure it's all the time. Allow me to demonstrate. Bruce. Welcome. The man. He's a friend. The Ulog, watch him. Make sure he don't do anything suspicious like, you know, kill me. How did you end up here? Well, I was captured by some slavers, actually. They weren't all slavers. Two were cannibals, one was a necromancer. A fun bunch. They captured this Ulog. Oh, he was in rough shape. We were cage mates until I sprung us out of there. Ulog jumps out, arms go a-flying, and then here we are, the best of friends. Muronam Kirinu Rachanuk. Oh, right. I should tell him about the fort thing. Thank you for that. It's kind of a long story. Ranger killed the old overlord. Now it's ours. Ranger? Oh, yeah. I named him after you. I'm honored. Well, it's been nice catching up in all, man. Bright Lord of me just came by to tell you that the fort's ours now. Right, Lord. Well, you are welcome to it, right, Lord. Me and Ranger are done with the Overlord game. It's a right pain. You gotta feed your followers, train your followers, make sure you don't get killed by your followers. Yeah, it's a right bother. Ooh, well, your worries are over. Because now I'm over. No. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Not you. Anybody but you. Whatever you need, Ranger. Me and Ranger have got you covered. Wait, Ranger, Ranger. Yeah, it's a little confusing, isn't it? But the point is, Bruise cannot be overlooked. Zupakin. I'm not working for these two. I'll tell you that right now. That works out perfectly. Because we got no current openings for half of oh, these squabbling fools. They have their uses. You bear must well, choose our overlord with care. Maybe you read my mind. I am a mighty vicious. What? Olog's friend! We fought and suffered, but still we stand! There is a new power in Mordor! You! In the days ahead, we will fight other battles and claim other fortresses. But starting today, Mordor belongs to you. Mordor belongs to the Bright Lord!
so later on when you're actually building up um, your key defenses and everything like that you'll want to be promoting somebody who can defend against online invaders um, so usually an enemy that can't be dazed by anything and is immune to arrows tends to be the best type of um, overlord but without spoiling anything too much uh, you'll want to assign somebody here that you're okay losing that you know you're, you're gonna want to kill off anyway so find somebody who's like mortally vulnerable to something and assign that person. Yeah, so like mortal beast fodder, we'll never keep this guy for a long time, so bye bye word liquor. We should upgrade our defenses before Sauron attempts to reclaim what he has lost. And there are more fortresses to conquer, and the Palantir is back in Minas Morgul. We must choose our next move carefully. So here we go, Shadow Strike Pull, one of the most fun skills in the game. I'll go demonstrate why really quickly. for days. So basically if you want to farm gems and Mirian, then you can just stand up on top of a tower, pull enemies to you, uh, kill them, grab the loot, and fast travel back. And you can do the same for any captain that is not uh, immune to ranged attacks. So you can pull him up on top of the tower, isolate him, and fight him up here if you want. Bog.
Alright, so next up in this episode is the Conquest ca Quest. Conquest Quest. Say that three times fast. Uh, we'll do this one and maybe one or two more before I need to call it a night and end and this episode. Let's see how far we get. <laughs> Good to be safe behind these walls. We are still in Mordor. We are never safe. Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. The thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. And don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. Oh, Shrock. I forgot to fill Ranger's feeding bowl before I left. He's gonna be cranky if I don't get back. I'm coming, Ranger! The fighting pits are the perfect place to test the strength of our orcs. Indeed. Let us hope we can get a seat. Ah, the fight pits! You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done him in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Stinking traitor, die! Oh, traitor! was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. All right, one thing that I want to mention uh, really quickly, if you are not a fan of the loot boxes and money in the game, basically you can set the game level on uh, the lowest difficulty and replay to here. And every time you get to this point, you can go out, kill an overlord somewhere uh, and get 500 gold for doing that. And this quest will reset every time that you do it. 
you know, it's up to you whether you do that or not. It's kind of an exploit, but they have it in the game and they haven't changed it, so up to you. It does take quite a while, though, so I don't know if it's really worth it. can see I have some leftover stuff from um, when I was playing on Nemesis. <clears throat> so when we do the Karnan quests, if possible you want to get yourself an XP boost, I'll be using one, um, just because the XP that you get from the Karnan quest line is really, really good, so if you double it, uh, you'll be happy that you did. You'll be, I don't know, around level 50 by the time you finish the quest line. So you'll see I'm basically in the same place with gems as the last time. Uh, I might have combined a few uh, while I was out hunting the captains, but for the most part we're in the same place. And you should have plenty of um, the Miriam at this point. Um, so you don't necessarily need to go out and, and worry too much about the Miriam. That's enough already to buy 10 of the silver chest. So if you see the silver war chests here, you can use these to get orcs your level. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be showing you some more tips in the next video guide, but uh, one thing that I want to mention is the legendary orcs. So you can see that I'm holding on to a bunch of legendary orcs here. Like I could kill them right now, um, destroy them and get gear. There's a reason why I'm not doing that. If you destroy them at level 60, then you'll get uh, like a level 63 or a 62 uh, weapon, which is the highest that you'll be able to get it. Uh, but if you upgrade it, you can only upgrade until level 60. This is also why I'm sort of holding on to the Bright Lord gear quests and not doing them. I'll do those at level 60, and I'm hoping that if I do that, um, that I'll get like level 62 uh, Bright Lord equipment. And we'll see if it plays out that way, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think it's worth a try. And, you know, I can make it to level 60 uh, just based on what I get in loot in the game, so I'm not too worried about it. So I think that's where we'll wrap it up for today, for this episode. Uh, got a flight in the morning early, so I'll render this, upload it before I go to sleep for the night, and then uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.